all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel now in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to become a pro player in world war heroes which is basically giving you guys some tips and advice on how to actually improve your overall gameplay because the last time i actually made a tips and tricks video like this was three years ago and so since i've kind of grown from that and played the game a little bit more i feel like these tips are actually more important than the ones I did make before. Would you rather listen to a goldless man of the past or someone like me with 17,000 gold? <laughs> so pretty much in today's video, I have three tips for you guys. If you actually want more tips, I can make a part two if you'd like. But anyways, boys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah. Let's start off with point number one, which is knowing the map and spawn points. If you've been playing the game for a while, then this is something that pretty much comes naturally. The way spawning works in World War Heroes is that a player is more likely to spawn in a place that you're actually not facing. Meaning you're gonna be in a lot of situations where you get shot from the back a lot, which is why in most of my videos I'm pretty much saying like, oh no, I'm probably gonna die. However, this can sort of be prevented by facing areas where the enemy might spawn. But then the problem is you'll never really be too safe since they might have a stronger gun than you. The best way to overcome this is by actually knowing all of the spawn points, which like I said will come naturally after a while. Because if there is a spawn point behind you and you're well aware of it, even if someone spawns there, you'll pretty much still be able to react in time. Now you definitely might not be able to kill them depending on which weapon they have but as long as you're able to tag them at least once hey, you can get an assist so yeah. If you are new to the game you don't really have to focus too much on this because like I said it will come naturally but try to play like you're actually in the game I guess and play strategically. But moving on to tip number two use your mom's credit card or save gold for the best weapons. Obviously you don't have to do that, but it definitely is an alternative to grinding every single day for four months just to get a good weapon. Now a story I would like to talk about is of the Maxim Tokarev, since it's the best weapon that I do have. Now before I did buy this weapon, the two weapons that I would be using the most is the DP-28 as well as the Johnson, and they've definitely carried me through tough times, but Right when I got the Maxim Tokarev, I was pretty much in shock just the way it performed, man. Like, the damage difference is really that big. And for me to go back to these weapons, it would pretty much be a little bit weird, because that's just how good this weapon is. And so with this tip, I would like to say, if you are planning on saving gold to buy a certain weapon, try not to buy any of the mediocre weapons that are below 10,000 gold. Because even if you do buy them, they definitely will be useful for a while. But then after a while, obviously, they'll become unusable. And also, they just won't be as strong. So if you're actually going to save up for a weapon that costs about 10,000 gold or somewhere there, I would pretty much advise you to push until at least 15,000 to at least buy one of these better weapons. Because if you do save for the AB-46... After a while, you'll realize that, yeah, it just isn't holding up strong enough. And you're pretty much only 3,000 gold from buying a much better weapon. So, yeah. As you can see, I've bought a lot of weaker weapons. Yep. Could have bought a lot of stronger weapons in the past. But, of course, yeah, it's all about fun for me, man. But if you are planning to play World War Heroes seriously, I would suggest at least getting one top-tier weapon. And then buying the mediocre weapons but on to the last tip that i have which is tip number three learn how to dance and not that type of dancing in world war heroes we have players known as dancers who pretty much always use pistols and assault rifles they use these weapons because they have high movement speeds also known as mobility which allows them to dance around and pretty much have a mobility dance against their opponent. Yeah. The benefit of knowing how to dance is that enemies with bad aim will pretty much be easier to kill. Since they can't actually hit you. As well as machine gun users because obviously the mobility on them is kind of bad. 
another benefit to dancing is that come on it just looks pretty cool i mean just just look at that man just look at that form but uh yeah anyways that's it for the video hopefully these tips do help you to improve and if you do have any other tips you'd like to add let me know down in the comments and uh, yeah but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace